think you can run a car with that. Definitely a generator. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the fuel cell. Okay, no more production. Okay, I'm going to turn on the fuel cell. There's your production. There's again, fan, pump. Okay, now watch, wait till production build up. Bam! A ton of hydrogen. Hi, my name is Joe Turn Bird. On the fish I'm not making fuel cells, I'm pushing the broom! 5.7 G8, this ain't no little small engine. Um, okay, here you can see there's our fuel cell installed. There it is down there. And this is a smaller system, way smaller. It's about half the size of the plates. But, you know, by using the other unit, we know exactly how much hydrogen to introduce into Todd's vehicle. So we take out all the guesswork. See, everybody else, they build, you know, one, two, three cells. There's only one company out there that builds like six or seven different fuel cells. But what they still haven't learned is there's so many different size leader engines. And reducing, getting the right amount of hydrogen into them, that's where we get effective. You know what I mean? Getting too much is no good. Getting too little is no good. If you have too much hydrogen, you're going to get worse fuel mileage. If you have, you know, not enough hydrogen, you're only going to gain a little fuel mileage, but you'll gain. You know what I mean? So it's either better to build them smaller or not too big because you're just going to make your gas mileage worse. Okay. Now over here you can see the reservoir bottle, right? And there's our spark arrestor and flash bubbler. And it comes down over into Todd's intake. There it is there. Okay. Hey, Todd, start this thing up, please. Okay. Watch the scene when we start making cuts. It takes a little bit. Todd's just sitting here. Did you turn your switch on? Yeah, Todd didn't turn the switch on. Okay, there you go. Todd got the switch on. Now look at that. Instant. Bam. There we go. We're going to have to make it a nice flow of gas. There it is. Okay. Now. What Todd's nice about Todd's truck is, we can see the fuel mileage. Okay. Now this is, you know, driving around town. Okay. And Todd will settle in, because he just was at a stop. And there's his, that's what he normally gets his 14. There you go, 20, 22. All right. And it'll drop in and settle in a little bit. Okay. Now, let's see here. I'm watching it. And right at 20. Okay. And Todd, what do you normally get on your mileage? Oh, we're doing about 35, 40 right now. Normally, I'd be getting about maybe like 15, 16. Okay. We jumped up to 20, so that's a gain there. The real gate is when the next light up at this intersection, right? You're going to turn and you can jump on the That's 275. On the yeah, and we'll get it out on the highway and see what we're doing. Here we are, everyday Tampa traffic. Hey, we're down in the hood side. One more block over, we'll be in trouble. We're hitting 29, 32, 41. So a lot better than what 17 was. And the other thing that really helped was we came up with a new injection tip and uh, Instead of putting big bubble, little bubble, right, um, we actually spray the hydrogen into it now. Um, so it's more consistent. Like back on the theory is, here you got big bubble, little bubble, small bubble, medium sized bubble that come up out of your unit, right? And then what will happen is you'll, you'll come to number one cylinder, right? and you'll get a big bubble and it's just a dirty burn. You come to number two cylinder, you'll get like a smaller bubble, it might be a cleaner burn. You go to a number three cylinder and here you got just too small of a bubble and it's, you know, not even doing anything. Then you go to number... Okay. Now Ty's gonna do some accelerating here. Get on the on-ramp, 
towards it. The sea really settles in. Six miles to the gallon. Now we're gonna take it up to 60. Okay, should be right at 60. We're above 60. All right, so we're above 60. Okay, now he's going to run it up to 70. Okay. There you are, sitting at 70. Okay, here are the numbers. 28, 25. And going uphill. Coming downhill. Okay. So hold seven there. Still seventy. Okay, let's see what we got here. About sixty-five. Sixty-five. Uphill. Uphill. Oh, ain't fine. Everybody know where we are. Doing it Tampa style, babe. A little downhill. Getting better mileage all the way around. However, we drive. If we were only getting. 15, 16 at the best. Uphill. Yep. Got one off on a little flatter land. 26, 27, 55. My hometown, Tampa Bay. There we are. Back in Tampa, actually, we just turned around. Let's see if we, yeah, there we go. Now we can see it much better. 30, 28, 52 miles. Sitting in here doing what everybody else is doing. We got a couple guys that like to pass on the wrong side. Okay, and I'm running out of tape. 52, we're doing 55, we're getting about 20. Yep, okay, all right. 55. Now let's go look for some strangers. Well, here we are, Tampa style, we're just checking everything. I mean, it's going real good. Um, what we're gonna do here is we just found this gentleman walking down the street. We're gonna ask him a question, see if he can do a little favor. Yeah, we're showing everybody that we can improve people's gas mileage and emissions and stuff. Right? It's the hydrogen fuel cell. Now, I've never met you before in my life, right? Okay, look. Would you do me a favor and just smell this exhaust? Tell me if you think it's clean. This is tailpipe exhaust, right? I will share your love. Now, most vehicles that I go up to, they don't smell or burn this clean. But if you can, you can smell that. I had a lot of different opinions and stuff, but to me, that smells real clean. I just wanted to just say, does that smell like a diesel? Or does it smell dirty? I'm sure you smell bad exhaust. Right. What do you think it smells? What do you think? Does it smell It doesn't smell like exhaust, does it? It's pretty much hot water vapor that's coming out of the exhaust. Is that what it's smelling to you? Hey, it's hot water. There's no fumes coming out of that. No. It's almost zero. We're running this truck off of water. Huh? We're running this truck off of water. Do you believe that? 
Yeah, that's what that is. You running a truck off of water? Off of water, smell that. Did you experiment with them? Yeah, we've been working on hydrogen fuel cell generators technology for about six years. Hi, my name is Sean.